Maximum Crisis was released on May 5th, 2017. This set introduced the true Draco archetype as well as new support for the already dominating Zodiacs. Additionally, a new ban list was released just a month prior to the release of Maximum Crisis on March 31st, 2017. Magispector Unicorn Kirin, the Tyrant Neptune, and Vanity's Emptiness were now banned from official competitive play. Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Max C, Rescue Cat, Brain Control, Future Fusion, and Imperial Order were now limited to one copy each, although some of these cards received an errata. Wisdom Eye Magician, Zodiac Rat Peer, and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber were now semi limited to two copies per deck. And finally, Sangen was now unlimited at three copies, although this card also received an errata. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu Gi Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu Gi Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. We've been having a ton of fun these past few weeks playing Zodiac and all of its adjacent contemporaries, but now it's time to enter the ignorant part of the format. As the NAWCQ season loomed, Maximum Crisis released, and with it, one of the cards that strikes fear into the heart of duelists to this day, Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King. Maximum Crisis's impact was twofold. Firstly, it enabled the Fusion Substitute combo in Zoo, enabled by a copy of Fusion Substitute, fusing a Chocanine and the monster it reborned into a copy of Elder Entity Norden, then putting the Norden back into the extra deck using Fusion Substitute's graveyard effect, sometimes multiple times per turn. This could, in a best of all possible worlds, get you up to a plus six on your first turn in a deck that was already dominant. Zodiac was an incredibly strong strategy, and this pushed it into the stratosphere. And second maximum Crisis released the True Kings and the True Dracos, held together by this card, Dragonic Diagram. This card allows you to destroy a card in your hand or on your side of the field in order to add a True Draco or True King card from your deck to your hand. This includes Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King, but also includes a whole host of powerful spells, traps, and monsters that you'll see in the coming episodes. For now, the important part of this card isn't what it searches, but what it does. By destroying a card in your hand, you can play the newly released Bayo Baboon. This card if normal or special summoned allows you to draw a card then put a card from your hand either on the top or the bottom of your deck and if it's destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon any number of Bayo Baboon from your deck. Effectively by opening Dragonic Diagram and Bayo Baboon you could get two threes on your side of the field and cycle powerful cards that nonetheless had to remain in deck things like Fusion Substitute or the True King Spell Traps back to the bottom before loading up your grip with powerful playmakers. Now notably two threes on your side of the field is also a playmaker because it goes into MX Saber Invoker. How this card came out in 2017 and not 2023 is beyond me. Now that the deck had two extremely consistent ways to get to Rat Peer without expending a normal summon, Bayo Baboon and Speedroid Terratop, the question became, then what should we spend the normal summon on? Well, Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King is a really fantastic option. This card can be tribute summoned to using continuous spell trap cards you control as well as monsters, and we are playing just enough material to be able to tribute summon it using the extra normal summon given to us by True Draco Heritage. At the end of a long combo, you can use this effect to summon a copy of Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King King, and then it is immune to the type of card that was used to tribute summon it. Here's Spell and Monster. Zodiac does not have an out to this card. As a result, this list was dreamed up as the Mirror Breaker, a Zodiac deck that could not lose to a resolved copy of Dryden. Theoretically, you can walk over it, but you'd also have to remove the Dragonic Diagram, which offers a one-time battle protection per turn. All in all, these incidental synergies are responsible for one of the top three most dominant decks during the era, and I'm so happy I get to show it off. Let me give you the card by card. We're playing three of the newly released Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Upon release, this card was actually not particularly good. Zodiac came to search like 10 or 12 times over the course of the turn, and none of the searches were particularly game-winning on their own, uh, but certainly it was better than not playing it. Additionally, it was pretty good against True Draco, and for that reason, here it is. Three copies of Bayo Baboon, three copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, one Lunalite Black Sheep. This can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand, and what do you know, Fusion Substitute counts as polymerization while in the deck. Two Masterpiece of True Draco Slaying King, the now limited Maxi, Triple Retaliating C, 
that's the format, baby. One Speedroid Takatomborg and three Teratop. One copy of Ram Ram, two Ratpeer, and a Whiptail. That's really all you needed. Three Dragonic Diagram, three Tanky, which was not only a great way to find your Zodiacs, but also a great pitch for Dragonic Diagram once you have gotten the value off of it. Three Sub, two Instant Fusion, triple Terraforming, Heritage, Barrage, and True King's Return. In the side, we've got three Flying Sea, one Gamsiel, the Sea Turtle Kaiju, Kamungus, the Sticky String Kaiju, Dark Hole, Raigeki, Twin Twister, Zombie World, Triple Anti Spell Fragrance, and guess who's back? Back again. In the extra, we've got a copy of Norden, two copies of Emerald, one MX Saber Invoker, Tornado Dragon, Totem Bird, Zodiac Borbo, Double Broadbull, Double Chalkanine, Double Dryden, one a piece of Hammer Kong, and Tiger Mortar. So with that, I'll throw you over to Alex, who is playing a much more traditional take on Zodiac for this format. Oh, God. Uh, so a lot of you who may be familiar with Zodiac format remember this mess. So... It's interesting because this was actually playable before the release of Maximum Crisis, but uh, it wasn't as good because the combos required a bit more specificity. We did not have the release of Zodiac Chakanine yet, and this tremendously helped the combo for being able to go into the Fusion Sub Loop because Zodiac Chakanine gives you an extra monster on the field to use with Fusion Sub to go into Norden, where before it's a bit more awkward. And so, yeah, this is a dark time for, uh, for Yugi to say the least. Uh, it's something that people don't really remember too fondly. I actually got a regional top slash invite around this time. So I was okay with that just because I was playing around this time. But in retrospect, this shit was so unfair. How they let this go and didn't even check it in the slightest. What did they do? Put Ratbeard to two. Vanity's emptiness is banned. I mean, I guess they took care of one problem five years later, but then uh, two more rear their ugly head. So introducing Fusion Sub Zoo. Uh, I'm sure Joseph maybe already went over the combo, but essentially, I actually think I have a video about this on my channel from when this first came out uh, six years ago, as a matter of fact. So that's pretty funny. Uh, but in any case, this allows you to just draw an insane amount of cards and just end on your normal board of Dryden plus Emerald, which is just insane. I mean, like the fact that you're able to draw like four to six cards, depending on how many copies of Fusion Substitute you're playing in your deck is nonsense. And that just like shouldn't be allowed in general, even if it comes at the cost of playing like a brick, if you will. But it, it's debatably not even really a brick because if you hard draw it, it's not even a brick. You can still just go down the Chalkanine line and just do it anyway. You just don't need to go into Broad Bowl to search your fucking black sheep in the first place. Let's do the card by card. Ash Blossom's out and uh, will be in decks for uh, the foreseeable future. I mean, it's it's incredible that a card this good uh, is just printed, you know, every once in a while that still continues to see play. This format was so bad that uh, Droll was also in it. Everyone knows that Droll and Lockbird is never a good sign in any format and is usually kind of like the, you know, the 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 the, the nuclear button that like, okay, we, we got, we need something here to just stop this. And uh, yeah, that's why this is here. It also just happens to be against Draco as well because they can draw a million cards. This deck's even on Flying C just for the mirror match, just to have as many ways as possible to stop them from going into the combo. And honestly, this deck got second place, so I can see how it worked. One, uh, or excuse me, two Kaiju's main deck for, of course, Draco decks. Triple Ogre, because we need to have hand traps to obviously stop our opponent, but also draw into off of our fusion sub combo. The Luna Light Black Sheep. I'm sorry, I don't know who allowed Broadbull to search any Beast Warrior card in the game, because this, this is why this card gets banned eventually, and uh, for good reason. So this is here, this searches fusion sub, and this is pretty much what brings the deck all together. Maxi's limited, hilariously enough. We got triple uh, it's Terror Top and one Takatomborg. We got one Ram, double Rat, a Thoroughblade, and triple Whiptail. That's it for the monsters. The spells consist of Dark Hole, triple Tanky, double Fusion Sub. You could go triple. Every Fusion Sub you play represents two draws you could get, but that does make your deck slightly less consistent. So two was the average number that people would play, and going plus four is still okay. We have triple Instant Fusion, of course, and Regeki and triple Barrage rounding out our deck. The extra, of course, we have Norden. This deck was on triple Emerald. This was not standard in the slightest, but I honestly don't hate it because if your opponent identifies that you're just trying to go recycle or turbo just to get all your resources back into the deck, having the third one can sort of be like an icing on the cake sort of scenario where they don't expect it coming. And so your 15th and 14th slot in Zodiac is kind of a flex spot anyway. So I can kind of see the reasoning for this. I do miss Gagaga Ga Samurai to close out the games and I think I'd prefer that, but I can see the reason for playing three Emerald. We have the Invoker, the Borbo, the Triple Broadbull, the Chakanine, the Dryden, and the Tiger Mortar, as well as the newly released Hammer Kong. Hammer Kong and Chakanine are fantastic additions to the Zodiac arsenal just because Hammer Kong has protection from targeting which is relevant for like the mirror match or even Draco and just other decks in general and uh, Chalkanine just being able to resurrect stuff from the graveyard gives you extra material you can go double Dryden there's so many things you can do with Chalkanine and you'll see that in the coming episodes I'm 
sure. And then the side deck, we got Triple uh, Ghost Reaper, something we haven't seen too much of, but uh, very funny. Another Kaiju, Triple Cyclone, a Dark Hole, a Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, Triple Barrier, Imperial Order. I don't know why the hell they ever unbanned this. This is insane. And Double Mirror Force. So I hope we get to show off just how crazy this combo is because uh, there's the chance we could just hand trap each other and never get to. But uh, man, this, this deck is absurd. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do it. Boy, Joseph, just when you thought it couldn't get more exciting for History of Yu-Gi-Oh fans, we go from Zodiac, which is either a deck you love or hate, to True Draco, which is a deck that everyone <laughs> hates, and you're going to be playing it today. <laughs> well, I'm playing a True Draco list. Fair. I don't know. Fair. I don't know if I would call it True Draco, True Draco. <laughs> Next episode will be the actual list that people hate. Uh, I actually think, uh, masterpiece aside, I think this version of the deck is actually quite sick. Just yep. all the overlay with all the interactions. Uh, in terms of like how synergistic everything works out. And I hope we're going to get to demonstrate that today. And uh, it's all going to be completely overshadowed by the fact that people discovered the fusion substitute combo. And uh, boy, did this suck for you, gi -Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks uh, for sure. Uh, but you know what's interesting is that your terrible deck isn't the only one playing it. And uh, that's true. I, I am very excited to maybe go fusion sub combo into plus six into normal summon masterpiece. Sounds like a great time. Let's shout the patron. Pokemon Dan, you're playing the wrong game, my friend. Where's Yu-Gi-Oh, Dan? Thank you for the support, buddy. Do you got the hand up? Yes. I have a three, the number of copies of Rat Peer that are no longer legal. <laughs> I have a three for the optimal number of fusion sub to play, sir. Uh, I guess, you know, sometimes if you're trying to draw six, you're trying to draw six. Uh, <laughs> I get to go first, fortunately, and uh, yeah. feel pretty good because since you're playing True Draco, you probably have a lot less room Ooh. for hand traps, so hopefully it is enough to get us there. Looking at this hand, though... Uh... We'll see how things go. All right. Draw a standby main. Best of luck, my friend. Um, admittedly, I'm going to be a bit rusty on this. I already know this is going to be a bit rough, but uh, we'll try our best. Let's go, Tenki. Yeah, I mean, no response to that. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Ash is legal. You could Ash the oh, Tenki. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, Just, yeah. <laughs> we have Ash Blossom now. Uh, we'll get Rat. Yep. And uh, we will attempt to summon Rat, which might be met with Ash Blossom. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and normal Rat effect. Thoroughblade. That's cool. At Rez, I'm going to go Maxi. Oh, great. Fantastic. All right. Well, now we have to do some thinking here. So I could keep going. At the bare minimum, Rat resembles the plus two combo, but that would require giving you plus six. So that doesn't seem like a good idea. It would be really cool if you did. Uh, I think instead what I'm going to do is I ended up hard drawing the black sheep, oh, which, you know, great. is always a great time. <laughs> so we'll get the fusion sub. Yep. I'll just add this to our hand. And I think... Honestly, let's just let's just make the wall. Let's just dry it. You get a draw. That's fine. You break even on your maxi. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty comfy. I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. All right, stand by main. Let's see what you got. Oh, I got something. Uh, let's lead Tanky. Tanky is fine. We will grab a copy of Zodiac Rat Pier. To no one's surprise. Sure. Oh, fine. Normal summon Bayo Baboon. And now it begins. <laughs> uh, we will activate Bayo Baboon. Uh, this is, you can draw a card and place one on the top or bottom of your deck. What a crazy interaction. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, ooh. All right, uh, battle. Why? I see. You should pop the Bayo Baboon. <laughs> I'm, uh, you might be forcing my hand here, sadly. The shitty part is you can just summon them in attack position. Correct. And we're literally back where we started. Correct. So it, actu it actually might be actively worse for it, me it to is. do that. It is. It legitimately is. <laughs> oh, my God. That sucks. That fucking sucks. Uh, I will just Dryden the tanky just because you can get value off of it. Sure. And then I'll just let you kill Dryden. That's fine. Second main. Draconic Diagram. There it is. Uh, we're going to try it. I got Ogre for this. Oh, man. Well, that uh, that Dryden play really did save you a turn. Uh, I will see you soon. Ooh, I was waiting for you to be like, all right, anyway, second barrage, diagram yeah. coming down. <laughs> or barrage, yeah, or like any nonsense. Yeah, sure, I'll draw. Yep. Standby main. Oh, that's pretty good. Whiptail off the top. I'll take it. That's that's decent, yeah. Anything uh, before we start doing the fun stuff? Nope, go for it. Let's go Borbo. Yeah. Let's go Tiger Mortar. Tiger Mortar, uh, detach target rat. That's fine. Uh, I will just detach the rat then in the interest of time, if that's okay. Uh, 
I'm you gonna. Got uh, okay. I'm gonna try Ash Blossom here. Ash for the Rat Summon. Okay. Okay. So this goes away. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That definitely hurts. Let's go Broad Bowl. And we'll go Broad Bowl effect. Get ourselves a nice little whip tail. Uh, we'll go battle. We'll attack the Bow Baboon. This is 100 over. Sure. That will banish him for whip tail. Uh, we'll go second main. Got three in hand. We're gonna go Shockanine. Shockanine target Dryden. And then second Dryden here. And I'll just pass. Um, sure. Stand by main. Tanky. Could pop this, deny you the other monster. Obviously, you could have other things you could play instead. Could also just pop whatever you summon. Tanky just gives you another card in case you have Diagram or Barrage. That way you get to retain value there. Uh, We'll pop it. Let's see what happens. Sure. And then uh, I will, <laughs> on res, I'll whip tail my other Dryden. Yep. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, you can proceed. Normal Bale Baboon. Oh, all right. He had another one anyway. Sure. We'll try for the effect. That's fine. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that was bleak. Double uh, Dryden. Gotta love Chalkanine. I do, I do. Um, ooh, you ooh. gotta love this. Ooh, this is a hell of a hand. All right, ready? She, yeah, let's see it. All right, I got Terror Top. Anything oh, here? That's No, you're good. All right, we're gonna go for the boy. I'm talking about Takatom Borg. At least it wasn't in your hand. Uh, he was in the hand last game. The oh. Bayo Baboons <laughs> fixed that up and then found <laughs> other Bayo Baboons. Uh, let's go for an MX Saber Invoker here. Seems pretty good. We're going to attempt to use the effect of MX Saber Invoker. I have no response. All right, let's get our big friend Rat Pier. All good. Uh, let's go uh, Borbo into Broad Bull. Yep. And Broad Bull effect. Skipping a step here. Uh, we're supposed to get uh, Luna Light Black Sheep first. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, and then we'll go... Oh, God. This deck is playing the plus five, so I have to consider it. Oh, God, you had to open IF plus? You had to open IF to do the plus five, and people were still playing three fusion sub for it? <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, well, it's still fine. Let's go uh, Broad Bull Summon Rat. Sounds good. Uh, here he comes. And then you're going to love this, folks. Uh, Chocanine. Such uh, a good Chocanine card. Chocanine effect will summon back the Broad Bull. Go for it. And then... <laughs> Oh my god, how did how how did people play this format? We'll send both our Xyz to the graveyard to summon Elder Entity Norden. Go for it. Let's trigger Noden. I think you can uh, rest easy that I don't have any interaction at this point. Wow. Yep. I do remember playing in a regional and getting my invite at this time for this format. And uh, yeah, you just did this for nine rounds. It was uh, it was a blast. Uh, we are going to do... Oh, this is a hard one. So uh, I'm going to do this in such a way that the rat peer that we retained on field is the one that doesn't have the, uh, the Xyz lock attached to it. Okay. Uh, let's go Emerald. Uh, we'll put back this. I'm going to shuffle the black sheep as well. No, you do. That's how you got to do it. Oh, we actually have to detach Norton here. You're still fine here. As long as you have another four. Me whining about a plus three. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just uh, shuffle that up and get our get our good old emerald draw here. Count with me, ladies and gentlemen. One. Uh, hold up. We have to put one more back, right? Uh, that, yeah, you just put one of the... Yeah, you put yeah. one of them back. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Wow, that's abysmal. Uh, now let's activate Fusion Substitutes Graveyard Effect. Uh, put back Norton. Draw again. And I, the good thing about the good thing about Norn is that it's a hard once per turn. Yeah, of course. I was gonna say my favorite part about this is that there was a ban list right before uh, the decks that were playing uh, the event took place, and uh, the the only real hit this deck suffered was Rat Pier going to two. 
<laughs> yeah. Norton uh, survived. I guess Vanity's emptiness is gone. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, that's, you know, that's something. It's about five uh, years coming. Let's uh, activate Fusion Substitute. Uh, these are two uh, two Xyz monsters, you may know. They are. Uh, and then we'll go Norton. Uh, Norton effect. We're gonna target Rap here, and we're gonna do it again, folks. Yes, yes, we are, sir. Uh, let's overlay Norton and Rap here, and go into Emerald. Yep. Uh, let's go Emerald effect. We are going to target uh, Emerald <laughs> and Chalk and I. You love recycling and emeralds. I think I'm putting the Invoker back too. I don't think it's gonna come up, but you never know. You know You're on Balbaboon. It could come up for you, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Whoa. It really, actually, just almost did. Uh, okay. And now let's activate Fusion Substitute yep. again. A hard once per turn here. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's, uh, let's draw another card. Plus wow. four, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not keeping track. All right, we're going to activate Lunalite Black Sheep here. <laughs> you drew it. Oh, my God. Oh, hold up. Is this a, is this a hard once? Lunalite Black Sheep? Absolutely not. Awesome. All right, we're going to grab Fusion Substitute. Great. Wonderful. Uh, next, we're going to activate Dragonic Diagram oh my and activate God. the effect. This is where it We're going to pop insane. Fusion Substitute. <laughs> <laughs> How did people play this format? No, no, we, we we actually shouldn't do this, I think. I actually think we have better things to pop. So we haven't normaled. You have not normaled, yes. It, we're about 15 minutes into this game, too. You have not normal summoned. Okay, I don't... This is so bleak. There is actually a way for me to get a third Nord in, in rotation. There is. But it, requ it requires me to give up my Dryden. And I, I don't think I'm willing to do that. I think we're just going to chill for now. Uh, we will pop the Fusion Substitute. Sure. Uh, and we will go grab now for the second part of, of my thinking turn. We're going to grab um, True Draco Heritage. Because you need to draw more cards, right? I think I'm actually done drawing. We're going to normal summon Terror Top. Okay. Activate True Draco Heritage. Get our extra normal. We'll go one, two, three for Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King. Here we go. And then we'll go Tiger Mortar... Dryant. This was an interesting turn. Yeah, uh, good luck to you, I would say. Here, you want me to help you out? Is there a reason you attributed two monsters and the heritage? Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> you're joking. You can keep the I just the assumed emerald. this guy needed three. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This only needs two. Yeah, let's... let's yeah, keep your emerald around. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm oh. thinking of the... I'm thinking of the fair version of this card, which is... Uh, the other masterpiece. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. That card is far worse. Uh, your zone should be flipped, but it, I literally don't think it matters. So I'll draw. Standby main. All right. Uh, I don't believe I know anything in your hand. Uh, correct. Uh, it's it's Maxi Flying Sea Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. I hate that that actually could be <laughs> Maxi's at one, and if you drew it again. I, I would be probably pretty livid, and I yeah. can't wait to till that's part of the clip. Well, I also drew Terror Top, so I guess it's fair. Whew, that's a nice one. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, we'll get Tech Tomborg. Thankfully, I didn't draw him either. Uh, hold up, you're adding the Taka Tomborg to the hand, right? Yeah. All right, I did draw Maxi. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to be a good player and put this in attack position. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> and Max sees a card. All right. Now I got to think. So you have a pop with Dryden. You have a pop with Masterpiece. And Emeralds. don't forget, I, I still have the Flying Sea and the Ash Blossom. That That is true. You have the Flying Sea and the Ash Blossom as well. <sighs> I fucking hate Maxi. I fucking hate this card so much. I actually, okay. What's astonishing is that I feel like if it wasn't for that pesky little insect, I actually would be in this game. But because of that, I think I am just straight up dead. Well, it's... I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you would not be. Because <laughs> your hand is flying sea ash block. It's flying sea right? ash block. Right, <laughs> right, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go battle. I'll at least force this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, boo-hoo. Yeah, it made such a difference. Second main, I, I want to do things. I I'm just probably dead. So I I'm going to set a monster and set a card and pass. Uh, we will end step, uh, go for the back row. Sure. With a masterpiece. It's Cosmic Cyclone. Oh, thank God. Okay, <laughs> uh, stand by main. Perhaps. All right, there we go. Uh, let's go uh, the effect of Digusto Emerald. Uh, we're going to shuffle back. Rat Pier and Tiger Mortar. And you know what would be funny is if we set, sent back the Maxi, too. Let's do that, too. Uh, okay, let's shuffle. 
Give it a good old draw. Not exactly what I was looking for. Oh, we shouldn't have popped that uh, fusion sub earlier. Uh, I was I'm gonna, gonna say, you, you could have kept going. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna activate Dragonic Diagram here. Uh, we are gonna pitch an Ash Blossom. You literally had Ash Blossom flying C Maxi. This is I actually just, I drew the, I drew the Ash Blossom. <laughs> uh, we will grab, well, we've already been through the Heritage, so let's grab True King's Return here. Sure. Uh, let us go uh, Terraforming. Uh, we will grab a Diagram and activate it. Sure. Uh, we will activate the effect of Diagram. Hard once, by the way. Uh, we're going to pop True King's Return mm -hmm. to grab Masterpiece. Uh, True King's Return effect. Let's crack that bad boy. Is... Uh, it has to go from the spell or trap zone to the graveyard, sir. I will set the card and then <laughs> pop it. <laughs> sure. Pop you let me put my Terra Top in attack position. It's only fair. It's only fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is what Hoban was talking about. All right. Let's go um, Broad Bowl. Yep. Uh, effect to search. Yep. Uh, we will grab uh, Whip Tail. Uh, broad Bowl effect to summon. Uh, let us grab a rat peer. Uh, let us go. Uh, is Nibiru out by this time? No, it is not. <laughs> this may shock you. You have masterpiece anyway, so Nibiru ain't doing shit. Can I just start overlaying on top of this rat peer? Yeah, why not? <laughs> well, you didn't shock a nine that. I just thought it was too strong. No, that, no. That <laughs> doesn't seem like you should be able to do it. <laughs> I don't know if you're on Gaga Ga Samurai, you know. I'm you, not. That uh, would really simplify that, things. That would make things much easier for you, yes. All right, let me actually just start doing math. You got a 4750 currently on field. Oh, I'm so ever so close. <sighs> I guess I could just normal summon another masterpiece. Another 2950. That is. This deck isn't on Thoroughblade, which is kind of annoying. Oh, that is annoying. Yeah. I was about to say if you're on Thoroughblade, that's also a way. Uh, I can't get another material for a four. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I have lethal this turn. We're going to normal whip tail and then go to combat. 18, uh, 12, uh, 2950. We can whip tail for another 12, but I think I just want the body. Uh, main two, we're going to go... Okay, we could go for like a good card, but you know what's also here is Emerald. Emerald is also... He could... You could draw could more anything. cards. Think of it, Joseph. Yeah, I could draw value. a supplement for the Maxi and the uh, Ash Blossom. Uh, no, no, no. We'll <laughs> and the Flying Sea. And the Flying Sea. You forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go Tiger Mortar, this guy, this guy. It's thick Dryden. Yep. All right, go ahead. I'll draw. Oh, that is... Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see. You got Tornado Dragon. You're loaded with a True King's Return. Uh, and you have Dryden. So I... That is... You can pop this, pop this, uh, pop this. So I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Game three. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh. Yu -Oh. Yu -Oh. Well, I'm glad we got to show off the combo in basically uh, full power fa fashion. The only thing you could have done differently was going, going for a plus six and ended on the same board. But uh, you didn't even have to. You, like, why even bother? You wanted to give me a chance, the illusion of chance. All right, right I will I will just reveal to you the hand was Maxi Flying Sea Ash Blossom. Uh, it Good. Was, so I, it, it, it was, was actually it was just Jover. No it was very <laughs> Uh, we'll go Tanky. Ooh, let's go. We'll get our uh, we'll get our good old friend Rat Pier. Yep. Uh, we'll try it. All right, let's cease going. I will chain Flying Z. Uh, fun time. Fun time. I will take that little guy. I yep. still get to dump off my rat. Uh -huh. Where is my ram? There he is. He's out of here. And uh, thank you so oh. much for giving me something to barrage, buddy. Uh, I, I appreciate that. I was like, I sure value. hope he didn't open barrage. <laughs> it's the one downside of Flying Z in this format. That's for sure. So we'll go barrage. Uh, barrage of Effect. Already got Ram gone. Not really like any other real value I can get. I can just get the rat anyway, so that doesn't really change anything. I guess I'll just get Thoroughblade, like whatever. Uh, no effect on Thoroughblade. It's perfectly fine by me. Uh, let's go Borbo. I'll go Borbo to summon. Unless you have something for this. You had Ash no, last no, time. No, no. Uh, we'll get our rat. Uh, we'll go for Broad Bowl. Mm hmm. Try to add. Yeah. Go uh, black sheep, black sheep effect for fusion sub. Yep. Go chocanine. Uh, chocanine effect. Mm hmm. Bring back the Borbo or the Broadbull, excuse me. Fusion sub. You've seen this before. Yep. Go Norden. Mm hmm. 
Uh, we'll go Norton effect. Let's get back our uh, rats, ram, whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much. Mm -hmm. Overlay. We'll go Emerald, detach the Norden, but back Black Sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put, put Borbo back, why not? And uh, get the uh, Norden back. Or not the Norden, excuse me, what am I doing? The uh, Chocanine. Yep. So we need Norden for Fusion Sub. We'll go Fusion Sub. Put him back, get a draw. Cool. We'll just go Hammer Kong yeah. over the Thoroughblade. I have the second Fusion Sub in hand, so oh, I don't need I to search it. Sure. So I was trying to do some other stuff, but I think I'm just making it too complicated. We'll just go Norden, Norden effect. Get, yep. uh, we'll get Ram. Yep. Uh, we'll overlay these two. <sighs> go for Emerald. Yep. Go Emerald. Yep. Let's put this back. Put the other Emerald back, and we'll put back. Eh, we'll put back the Hammer Kong. Why not? Sure. Shuffle them up, and we'll draw a card. Go fusion sub, yep. Norden back, draw a card. That's our four. Uh, I believe I have summoned everything except mortar and Dryant, if my memory serves. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just go tiger mortar and Dryant, and I will just simply pass the turn to you. Hmm. Stand by me. Okay, uh, let's lead diagram. Seems like a pretty good card. Uh, nothing on the initial activation, but I imagine you'll be activating it right this second. We will set a card first. Diagram effect. <laughs> I will ogre the diagram. Wow, that is disastrous. Okay, diagram. <laughs> so disastrous, huh? I mean, well, just activate diagram. Oh no, you don't get to use two diagrams, I'm thinking here. I may not get to use one. So the problem here is you obviously haven't committed to anything. Uh, you could have a third diagram, which would be hilarious. And then all this will just be for not anyway, but it'll put you just out of a bunch of resources. You just funnel everything. I guess I got to try to stop Masterpiece. So yeah, I'll pop it. Okay. Third diagram. Normal bail baboon. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of the same thing. We'll go for the effect. Sure. Okay. Uh, barrage. That is pretty damn good. Yep. Target bail baboon. Bail baboon effect. Get your two baboons. Oh shit, we actually get to? You do. Oh my god, I thought we were for sure gonna hit an Ash Blossom here. Uh, let's go this guy. Ooh, let's actually bail baboon too. Huh, huh? <laughs> All right, back on the top with you. Wish I had one more card in hand. Um, let's go uh, Invoker. Well, technically, wouldn't it just be the same card twice? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we'll, we'll go to the bottom, <laughs> we'll go to the bottom. There you go, there you go, yeah. there you go. Um, okay. I still have to play think, around shit. That's what I hate. Do you think we need more scrying effects in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, I do. Just attack and make Zeus. Yeah, right? <laughs> We're not even playing uh, what, what, mini Zeus. Uh, <laughs> let's go Broad Bull. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's a little crusty. Uh, we'll grab Black Sheep and we'll go for Black Sheep. Draw our way out of this one. It's now time for you to draw a million cards. Yep. Uh, let's go Chalk. Big question here is, we'll chalk, and then we'll get back the broad bowl. Do yep. I want to lead fusion sub on the invoker? I think the answer is no. Ah, man, he's just such a resource. All right, fusion sub. Sure. Uh, okay, uh, Norden. <sighs> Wish I had another four in here. Oh, he wishes he has another four after having diagram, diagram, barrage, baboon. Well, the problem here is I don't have a mechanism to get this other <laughs> emerald or this other uh, rat peer into a guy that can make the rat peer unless I just hard draw a fusion sub off this. So I'm going to go Norton here and we're going to target sure. uh, black sheep uh, and then two of the guys. Sure. Well, suck my sack. Uh, fusion set. Yep. Don't you love Pot of Greed? I love Pot of Greed. It's all right. I'm, I'm like, I'm a fan for sure. Uh, okay, we did draw. We did draw. It. <laughs> Stop! It's not that big of a. No, I boarded one of them out. <laughs> oh Jesus. 
Did I board two of them out? What the fuck? Dude? I was going to say, weren't you on three in this build? I did. I wasn't expecting to get this You're also far. going second, to be fair. Yeah. I, I, I can't really. I was expecting to get this far. Yeah. All right. Let's um, just do what we can. Uh, Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, Dryden. Yep. Let's go Dryden, Target, <laughs> Dryden. Sure. Combat. Ugh. Yep. Crashing the Emeralds. Oof. Wow. Like 16 from this? Yeah. Uh, second main? Hey, you're good to go. Two other cards. All right, I'll draw. I think it's standby. Uh, tear top. Fortunately, I drew the fucking thing for turn. Uh, I, first of all, I should fucking get rid of your Dryden. I don't know why. I didn't no! Do this first. Come on, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I drew him for turn. Lovely. Anything here? Uh, no. All right. Uh, let's go for the invoker of my own. Yes. Try to activate. That's okay. Okay. Uh, let's grab. Do I even have any targets? Uh, I do. I shuffled a rat back into my deck. That seems pretty good. Uh, but is one engraved? One is engraved. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Uh, let's instead. That's weird. I'll get whiptail instead. Sure. Uh, in defense, because it is invoker. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You stole the back row. I I'm like 99% sure it's just like a true Draco thing. So not like anything too serious. If it's return, it doesn't really do anything. So I can Neither bring back really do diagram. Uh, okay. So aside from just hand traps then, like we should be okay. So I'll have to deal with Kumungus, but uh, I'll fire another tanky. Jesus Christ, yeah. How Get do you a... still, still got targets for this? <laughs> I got more whip tails, buddy. I got more whip tails. Uh, we'll go boar. Yup. And we'll go uh, bull. Mm hmm. Let's go bull effect. That's fine. <laughs> we'll get another whip tail. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. We're just getting them all. Getting them all. I'm going to go tiger mortar, uh, tiger for the rat, and then I'll just detach the rat. Mm hmm. You instant fusion. Holy shit. That is the other reason I was thinking so hard on how I play my last turn. Uh, we'll go Norton effect. Uh, this time, who do we want? Who do we want? Uh, let's get Thoroughblade. Why not? He's just a big dude. We'll go, let's go these two or Emerald. Uh, I'll detach. Let's put back uh, rats. They're a blade. Uh, this and is, wait, sorry, this is the Emerald activation? Yeah, yeah, do you have something here? Sorry. Yeah, I've been really sitting on this ash. Wow, you really have been. Uh, that's fine. So I do not get my Emerald, which is frustrating. Admittedly, that makes things a bit awkward for me, but I that's, think- That's the hope. <laughs> we'll, we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll make the best of it. We'll go Chaka 9 here. Yeah. Uh, let's get back Dryden. Sure. Uh, then we will make a, another Dryden. Cool. Uh, let's pop the Kumungus. Ow. We'll try for battle. Yes. So let's go. Your invoker is smaller than my Emerald, so we can do this. I'll take two here. And then let's go 12 and, or I'm sorry, 14 from the double tanky boost and then 16. Uh, second main. I think we're probably just chilling here. Still got barrage I got to deal with, but like that's fine. Got another random set. Drawing into one card, I guess. Yeah, let's pass here. Good. There are two cards in my deck that do it. Actually, there's four cards in my deck that do it. All right, here we go. That is not one of them. Uh, Dark Hole. Jesus. What do you mean that's one of them that doesn't do it? Well, I don't think oh. I'm winning from this position. I <sighs> pop the barrage. Yeah, I, um, sure. That is insane. Oh my God. All right. Well, that's it. I mean, I really don't have anything else to be doing. Let's do this. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, draw. Main one. Sad thing is, like, you're still in it. That's annoying. Yeah. Uh, cutting me off the emerald actually really fucking hurts. 
I actually, I think I have to keep this in hand in case. Okay. Ugh, that puts you so close to lethal, but I, I think I have to keep it in hand. I think I have to play to win. Whip tail. Yeah. Battle. Yeah. This is what, 12? 14. 14. Yeah, excuse me. Yep. Uh, Second main. Yeah, I'll make broad bowl. Fuck it. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Instant fusion. That is one of the cards that does it. Yep. Oh. I mean, maybe. There's still a lot to do on this board. All right, we'll activate Norton. Okay. Now what? I mean, I'm always overlaying. I just don't know what for. It's going to be Broad Bowl, right? But Emerald could be anything. It could even be Broad Bowl. It could be. No, it's got to be Broad Bowl. Uh, we will activate Broad Bowl. Yep. Uh, all right, not a lot left in this deck, I got to tell you. Uh, Same. <laughs> uh, you know, I think it actually might not be Whiptail. Yeah, let's get Ram Ram. It doesn't matter. This Broad Bull is just sitting there. It's not doing anything. Uh, <laughs> normal Ram Ram. Sure. What does Chalk do for us? Chalk gets us a Dryden over two turns. We don't have double Dryden available because we are only playing the two. Otherwise, we could here. Uh, Chalk's got utility. We'll go Chalk on the, uh, on the Ram Ram. Chalk target the Ram Ram. Do we want to do that over just making a big unaffected Dryden? Unaffected by what? Trap cards? Uh, yeah, we want to do this. Targeting trap cards specifically. Yeah. We don't have a whip tail in rotation either. That's annoying. Uh, we're going to go Dryden, target, Broad Bull. Makes sense. Uh, we're just going to pass here. I'll draw. Yep. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Go. I wonder if we Broad Bull. Uh, let's just draw. Stay sure. by me. Uh, Broad Bull effect. So we got targets. We do. Uh, whip tail. Sure. Uh, normal whip tail. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we will go emerald. Uh, activate emerald. What the fuck is in your hand? Uh, okay. Um, we're shuffling back. Rat pier. Chocon. Oh god, this is so hard. Trident for sure. I'm trying to summon another four. We get a four off the trident. I'm gonna put mortar back. Well, I mean, that's a good card. I don't think it's Mortar. Mm hmm. Mortar, target, Whiptail. Sure. Dryden't. 18, 12. 3K. Gotta put you on some kind of a clock. Uh, back to you. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I probably had this game on lock the one turn I was going all in if I actually knew what I was doing. I feel like I threw it at some point, but this is just. This is such a horrible way to lose game. You got it. Oh, okay, wow. I had the other whip tail. I had barrage. Yeah. I had instant fusion, which I had no Norden for. And then I drew in sequence two cards that would have been useful the turns after I drew them. Yeah, no, so, I, uh, I had to have you, I think, on... Um, I, I had to have you on... Uh, th this isn't what I had you on. Uh, I had you on too many zoos, like the barrage and whip tail I was pretty sure of. Uh, but I assumed the rest of the hand was like kaijus. And like mm. you had one kaiju and didn't have a way to contest the kaiju, so didn't want to make it. Sure. What a disastrous game. Holy yeah. fuck. No, like in retrospect, what I could have done was I was getting a bit overzealous with searching all these whip tails because then my barrage had no targets at that point. And so that would have been an avenue to get me more cards. I also could have brought back my Ram Ram barrage, the Ram Ram to get a summon from the graveyard as well. So like there were so many other ways I could have done what I was trying to do, which was just get a bunch of emeralds on the field and just draw a million cards. Uh, so then that way, the way I funneled the play, it was that one emerald and then nothing else. I had no other follow-up play because I had no targets in right. deck. And I had three other ways to get another four on the field. But because of the way I sequenced it, I just fumbled it. Because there were so many fucking things for me to do. I had so many cards what's, what's, that I did. What's still in God. the extra? It's uh, I had Tornado one more. What? It's neither. Ooh. I had Hammer Kong. And I had this deck's on three emerald. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, wow. No wonder you were so, staying in this game. <laughs> yo, exactly. Exactly. So, like, that's why I didn't even care if you had Ash for the first Emerald. If I had a way to get to the other Emerald, then I would have been fine because.
because yeah. uh, this is the second place deck, I think, from the YCS Pittsburgh or Philly or whatever wow. event was around this time in Pennsylvania. The third Emerald is something that wasn't really standard. Yeah. And so oh, I wasn't then like it. you, th right. So then you, th exactly th how this played out where it's like, oh, I ash this Emerald that cuts off all the utility and the, the recycle ability and then you're all good. Bam, slam down the third Emerald and you're just, you're, you're back in it essentially. So uh, mm -hmm. no Gaga Gaga Samurai also messed me up. I was basically always playing decks at this time with Gaga Gaga Samurai just because you need it's to be able so to close easy. out the game. You need like yeah. a turn my brain off card for sure. Like, yeah, I, I, exactly. People are going to be like, oh, it's such an ignorant card. You know, you could get more utility off of playing something else. I'm sorry, playing a deck this um, non-linear, this difficult for nine rounds, you need a card that just reads, listen, I know you're ahead. This <laughs> one's on me. And uh, yeah, he was that exactly. card, man. Whoa. Exactly. So that was frustrating. I, I feel like I should have had that one, but it's okay. It's okay. No, uh, it's that's that's why we play these. Uh, I, I, this was a great match, though. It great was. showcase of. No. I mean, got so much interaction, so much of like trying to like just manage certain things. And uh, we really just got to show off the fusion sub combo and all of its power. Unfortunately, I wasn't drawing like a million hand traps or back row to pair with mine, which is what my version of the deck's trying to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because I had like dimensional barriers. Uh, fun fact, Imperial Order's legal now in case you're not on it. Uh, I am in uh, fact so on it. I'm very yep. on it. <laughs> exactly. This, this card is banned for a reason. Yeah. Again, uh, why they brought this back, who the hell knows? And I'm playing like a million hand traps pre board i was actually on droll as well just because no. so many people at this time were playing the fusion sub combo so, so yeah there's there's a number of things to talk about just uh not only with re reference to the fusion sub combo but with reference to what true draco did when it first came out um droll uh, i would argue is in here for true draco um that deck in particular drew like maybe 15 cards a turn and you'll probably see it next episode but um i do like that when masterpiece was first released uh people were like oh yeah we can play this in true draco the way they've been doing in the ocg you or know what puts a lot of material <laughs> on our side of the field is the zoos and they yeah. just are like oh what if you just make this guy you just retain your normal summon and you use it on this guy or you get an extra normal summon with true draco heritage and uh the glue that held this deck together of course was bayo baboon just an unbelievable card had already seen a lot of uh play out the get in maximum crisis after releasing like metal foes zoo combos but just as good here uh the ability for i mean what was happening in game three was i had the diagram and the diagram was a flex for either the bayo Bob in hand, which I did have, or by setting yep. a card, I can telegraph, like, I'm going to remove your monster if you let this resolve. It just makes this yep. card, like, so much more threatening. Not that it already isn't extremely good. And uh, it turns out that uh, just going through the zoo motions for two turns in a row and then slamming down Masterpiece is enough to beat a lot of the metagame. Uh, this deck was kind of brainstormed as the deck that could go over the top of Zoo, but still retain the Zoo-like qualities that gave Zoo, in my opinion, a pretty favorable True Draco matchup. Uh, it's it, it really it really was something that people feared. It was an insanely powerful deck, and one of the most um, uh, one of the reasons why Masterpiece, despite being kind of a mid card in true draco is still feared by the player base to this day also not to uh overshadow chaka Knight. what an all-star of a card oh my uh, I, god I, later the... on later on the standard becomes two chaka Knight. my deck's only on one which is no also something that threw me shot. off yeah oh my god yeah. only one shock because then i would have still had a play to possibly get back into dry i'm on there. two again, shock i'm doing nothing yeah, with my extra I, yeah yeah but like with your deck as well the fact you get the extra material to then just have tribute fodder for yeah. masterpiece is what is insane Insane. Like, Shock and Nine just has so much utility for the deck that I, I can't believe this was just an ultra on the set. And it was the most expensive ultra on the set, don't get me wrong. But, oh, yeah. Uh, do you, do you man, remember what, when what a killer card. This card was revealed, and, like, I remember being on Zoo, and people were like, uh, it's good, but, like, it doesn't really do anything the deck wants. And then it took about <laughs> five hours, and people were like, oh, we figured out a way to FTK with Shock and Nine. Like, this basically, is the brokenest basically. card since Broad Bowl, and yeah. uh, wow. Double Dryden is uh, one of the best things you can do. To, like, if you don't need, to, if you don't have Gaga Gaga Samurai to lock down a game, Chaka Nine, Double Dryden, that's all That's all it takes. T two Drydens is usually enough. We saw that in game one, too. And, and it's flexible. You can do Double yeah. Dryden. You can do Dryden plus Hammer Kong with Material. You could, oh my god, it was so good. Uh, but we're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, <laughs> next episode, probably not. But uh, after that, ooh, settle in. 
So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Little Fade Leaf, Chris Hood, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Dalton, Inuno Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Corvain, Grey9, and Micah Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.